Hello everyone and welcome to another Tips and Tricks videos from Switch. My name is Kent and in this particular video, I'm going to share with you a very very cool trick that you can use in your Safari web browser called Reader Mode as well as a very cool trick to actually save the content into a PDF for future viewing. It's very useful. If you love reading articles online like I do, you would definitely use this feature. So enough saying, let's get started. All right, so in my hands is an iPhone 6 Plus. And what I'm going to show you works on any iOS device. And it's actually a very cool feature. Saving PDF to iBooks as well as reading mode. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to my Safari web browser. Prior to this video, I actually went to this website to get a nice and cool article. So this is an Ars Technica article about the wild, uh, best uninterrupted power supply. Now it's very nice. I can scroll down and go through it. I can read it. I can go to the second page, etc, etc, etc. But I don't want all this irritating advertisement. I just want to see the content. And this is where reading mode comes in handy. So how do we activate reader mode? All you need to do is tap on the address bar on the top. So when you tap on the address bar, notice that I have an icon here that looks like a few lines right on the left side of the address bar. When I tap this with my finger, it activates reader mode. So in this mode, it takes away all the advertisement and purely focuses on the content, the text and the images for a particular article. And it's continuous. You do not need to tap on the second page or the third page or the fourth page. So this makes it very, very useful to focus purely on an article or news item that you want to read. But that's not all. If you look in reading mode or reader mode, on the right side, there are two letters A's where my finger is pointing. So I'm going to tap on that. This allows me to change the color of the background. Instead of white, perhaps I want it to be maybe a bit yellowish, orangey, maybe I want it to be gray or even just pure black. I can increase the font size or the text size. I can change the font to something that I find more comfortable to read. All this is for your comfort as a reader for any articles that you want. Now, what if you already read this article and you're like, hey, why not I save it offline so I don't have to go find this link just to read this particular document? Well, you can do that. We're going to tap on the sharing icon, which is at the bottom, the one that looks like a box with an arrow. Tap on that. Now, you have a lot of options here. You can send us a message, email, reminders. You can even add it to the home screen. But for this purpose, I want to save it as a PDF to iBooks. And this is what I'm going to do. This entire article, I'm going to save it to my iBooks as a PDF. Right now, it's creating it, and it brings it to the iBooks. And that's it. This is the article. So I can read it anytime I want in my iBooks application without internet access. So I could actually, in my iBooks app, which is a free application, by the way, iBooks is a free application okay, that you should download for your iOS device. You can keep all the articles you've read as a PDF here that you can refer to anytime you want. So this is a very, very cool feature. Reader mode, as well as saving to PDF as a, in your iBooks, right here on your iOS device. We hope that this useful is helpful for you if you love reading articles online. So please support us on social media, like us, follow us, or subscribe on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and so much more. Give us your comments and suggestions. We hope that you like this video. Thank you for watching. And until next time, this is Ken saying bye.